Hi there, my name is Timmy Joe. I make videos about computers on the internet. And I got a lot of upcoming builds, things coming. Looking for some cool RGB lights on a budget. And holy jeez, these are freaking cheap. This is the Deep Cool RGB 350 pack. Uh, so cheap, I bought two of them. $16.99. Foosh on Amazon. I mean, can you go wrong for that price under $20? You could buy a couple of them and uh, kind of be set. Well, I thought I would go over uh, this little thing in a quick product showcase. Yeah, uh, because I've been dealing with them and there's a couple annoying things about them, maybe some things you'd want to know and uh, kind of talk about my experience with them. So really, really quick, this works with any computer even though on the front it says works with asus aura which we will get to in a second but if you look included molex power connection to a remote control box clickety click that lets you change your colors in any really case that has a molex connector which is like any case in the last any power supply in the last 40 years uh with this remote so you can use this out of the box with you know, pretty much any computer, which is pretty dang cool. But this is a lot of, you know, wires, a lot of junk. A lot of people are going with a streamlined thing these days. And, uh, you know, if you have RGB headers on your uh, motherboard, then you probably want to use those instead. Well, the experience using that with this kit is definitely kind of cumbersome. Thought I'd give you some heads up if you're looking to use it that way. So in the box, you get uh, basically a little extension cable that allows you to use the two included LED strips or, or RGB strips uh, with the controller. And this little thing will extend the controller so that you could route like one really far in the case and one kind of closer to the controller. But if you're looking to use it with RGB header, it does work with any RGB header, really. It's becoming more of a, a thing these days, not just with Asus Aura Sync. I have a Asus board that doesn't have Aura Sync, but it has software that works with the motherboard that allows you to control RGB stuff, as well as I have an ASRock board that has two RGB headers, which is convenient for this kit because uh, if you look, there's no uh, included in the box way to split this off to run it off of one RGB header. There is a little extension cable that really only works with the control box. So if you're looking to use more than one of these in a case that only has one RGB header, or you want to kind of be clean about it, you got to buy a separate thing. So keep that in mind. That would be, boof, one of these things, a uh, female to four male or sorry female to female like a uh, splitter basically for your rgb and as we can see here 822 for one of those so and it you know an extra cost that would allow you to run four of these you know if i have two kits here off of one rgb header also keep in mind that you only have this much room to work with I have a splitter here that works uh, that, you know, uh, it, it's kind of ugly, but you can use it to plug the RGB header and then you plug these in there and then this thing and that. But uh, yeah, as so you can see in this B-roll here, hooked up to my ASRock motherboard, it, you know, follows the, the, the RAM that's in there uh, as the RGB. So that's, that's pretty cool. So real quick, let's go ahead and set this thing up. So also keep in mind that there is a female in a male uh, section of the control board and you have to make sure you connect them properly or you could ruin something there's little arrows on them but i can't connect this one without using the extra wires that it comes with which is kind of annoying too so you're gonna have a lot of extra wires running in your case to use this kit and you'll be worrying about extra cable management so that's how that looks that's you know everything you're going to need to use the molex part and then i have a molex here but i also plugged one in right here to this computer beside me and we've got some wonderful glowing green lights ah, yeah so um you know you can do things like oh i want to make them white Boom, that's not really white, it's like blue. Want to make them green, red, blah, blah, blah. There's a strobe effect, there's a, a fade effect, there is a smooth effect. But if you'll notice, all the RGB are moving at the same time. There is no effect that 
goes like, you know, in different colors up and down uh, the, the strip. So that would definitely be lacking in this. Now these are uh, magnetic. They will stick to metal. I think that's aluminum, so that's not going to work. But they stick to themselves, as you can see, because they're magnets. Oh, let's see. Oh, there we go. It sticks to my microphone, sort of. So yeah, <laughs> RGB on a budget. Well, count on spending, or at least some forethought, into a few extra things if you don't want to use the Molex connections and you're using the uh, RGB headers on your motherboard. You'll probably need an extra splitter if you want to run even more than one of these off of one header. And if you're buying, uh, you know, the kit for, you know, maybe two or three of these kits, you're going to need to kind of make sure that your cables will work, you know, will run. You might even need to buy an extension cable for one of these, which could be an added ex expense if you're running it to a far place in your case. Maybe you're uh, putting it on the outside panel of your case around the window. And that's going to be annoying unless you have some extension cables. So I'm at Watch Timmy Joe on Instagram and Twitter. And this has been a quick overview of the Deep Cool uh, LED RGB uh, strips that are magnetic, work with Molex, and allow you to have it in pretty much any case, or even work with Asus AuraSync or really any RGB hitter situation. So uh, good luck, RGB, out there, and I will see you guys in another video.